Activision Call of Duty WW2 update server latest and great sales news for fans Call of Duty WW2 has been out for over a week now, and sees Sledgehammer Games return to the series roots with a World War II setting. The PS4, Xbox One and PC shooter has been getting positive reviews from critics, and Call of Duty WW2 is going down a treat with fans also. In the first three days since release Call of Duty WW2 has sold twice as many units as last year's entry, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Activision revealed that Call of Duty WW2 sold around £379 million in its first three days on sale across the globe. Eric Hirschberg, CEO of Activision, said we challenged our players to get their squads back together and they answered the call, with the highest number of players we've ever seen on current-gen consoles and PC, Call of Duty World War II returns the franchise to its roots and the results are incredible, selling twice as many units in its opening weekend as last year, and setting the day one record for full game downloads on PlayStation 4, our $500 million opening weekend was not only bigger than Thor Ragnarok's, it was bigger than the opening weekends of both Thor and Wonder Woman combined, and were committed to supporting the community with continuous improvements and new content. Saturday, August 19, 2017 Call of Duty WW2 Headquarters The impressive sales figures for Call of Duty's return to a WW2 setting could mean Activision decides to explore the Sarah and real-world environment more. In recent years Call of Duty has moved away from the grounded, real-life settings it made its name with to go for a futuristic, sci-fi feel instead. The huge success of Call of Duty WW2 may mean Activision will stick to World War II settings for future COD games. Or, alternatively, they could revisit other eras like the original Black Ops which was set during the Cold War. The news comes as Call of Duty WW2 fans were hit by another server outage. Call of Duty WW2 players reported the game down again after the recent update 1.05 was rolled out. Down Detector received reports from hundreds of fans that Call of Duty WW2 was offline in the early hours of today. Sledgehammer Games have acknowledged the server issues and said they are working to restore dedicated server support. In their most recent tweet, they posted status update We're currently working to restore dedicated servers and testing to avoid further interruptions Well, update as soon as possible. Wednesday, April 19, 2017 Call of Duty Nazi Zombies Motees It comes after Call of Duty WW2 on its first weekend after release was down for thousands of players who tried to play it online. The new update 1.05 is expected to fix a number of issues Call of Duty WW2 fans have experienced since launch. A statement from Sledgehammer Games posted to Reddit with the patch notes read We've heard the community loud and clear over social channels, and we're working around the clock to ensure a better experience for all players. A message from the Sledgehammer reads on Reddit We've been tracking issues as they arise on our end and have pushed an update to address some of your top concerns. A lot of these new changes are COD multiplayer fixes, which should help to bring more stability to the overall experience. Sledgehammer have also provided a few buffs and nerfs to their weapons collections, which can be found below buffs Walther Toggle Action Shotgun Damage Increased at Extremely Close Range Bryn LMG Increased Damage Per Shot LMG Bipod Sped Up Adds Time When in Bipod Stance Nerfs Far Rifle Decreased Fire Rate and Widened Hip Fire Spreads TG44 Rifle Widened Hip Fire Spread FG42 Rifle Increased Recoil and Widened Hip Fire Spread Machine Pistol Decreased Damage Rank is Sniper Class Fixed a Bug with All Sniper Rifles Zooming to Exact Center When Aiming Down the Sights. Nazi Zombies has also seen some bug fixes, including a zombie map exploit fix, removing the ability to clip into a zombie spawn closet using Revive Mechanic in Laboratory.